Welcome to this fabulous webinar today. I think it's going to be really instructional and useful for you and I'm really glad that you're here. We've, we've got entrepreneurs from all over Australia uh, who are on this call. You've taken the time out of your work day and I appreciate that to do a bit of learning and I think that's a, that's a really smart thing to do. You know there's so many entrepreneurs who just get addicted to the grind you know, they get addicted to getting up in the morning, getting straight in there, jumping on their emails and just working, working, working. Now, here's the weird thing about that. Sometimes they don't really look up for 10, 20 years. They literally just grind it out for the, for the rest of their careers without stopping, trying to get perspective, seeing how they can do things in a better way. And you're not like that. You're one of the fractional few Australian entrepreneurs who today, let alone this month or year, will take time out of their day to learn to get better. And, and let me tell you, that is a very smart thing to do. As Amelia has typed in, she's always learning and that's how we've got to be. So welcome to today's uh, webinar uh, at the Fortune Institute and it features, as we do from time to time, uh, one of our entrepreneurs that's done uh, really, really well. And today we're going to feature Jamie Gray. And you know, before the webinar was starting, I was looking at this photo and uh, it's, it's an intriguing photo because the question I've got for anybody who knows the answer, I've got no idea. What is that thing floating on the left of him? So it looks like some kind of bowl or something. But it's not like a bowl of food that you you know floating out there because it's got water in it. Does anybody know what that thing is? Is there any surfer that can tell me what that is? It's pretty weird. The other weird thing is on the right hand side, someone said a hat. Is it a hat? Yeah, maybe it is. So he's got a big head if it does, if it is. But um, uh, it could be. I like that. That's uh, Jim. Thank you. That's that's the that's the best clue we've got so far. A fry pan says. <laughs> <laughs> says Christina. A fry pan is out there scrambling eggs. And why wouldn't you? <laughs> well, it's very hot in a lot of the places that he has uh, um, holidays. An ankle tied to his board floating at the surface. Interesting, says Warren. Probably a tray to hit a shark on the head if it comes close, says Blythe. By the way, anyone who's just jumped on, we're trying to work out what is this thing on the left of Jamie Gray that's floating in the water. A, a blessing bowl, uh, Juanita says. Um, uh, Christina says that it's a fry pan but not to fry eggs, it's to hit a shark on a nose. A bed pan, says Jack. <laughs> well, I think we'll stop there but a, an intriguing concept as to what the hell that is. Uh, but welcome, welcome to today's webinar. This is Jamie Gray and he's the founder of uh, uh, the Perfect Wave, which is a, a really cool company that's done really, really well. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, the type of stuff that Jamie has reported to us that he did, right? So we said to him, look, Jamie, you're doing a stack of things. Out of all the stuff you've done, what really matters? What really makes, uh, has made a difference to make you grow so fast? And that's the purpose of today's webinar. So before we open the curtains, I just want to just check that the sound is good. I, I believe it is from the comments uh, uh, from, from the audience. And I urge you to shut off uh, any other windows uh, or telephones or anything uh, and, uh, and just really uh, concentrate, you know, because there's so few times we get to learn and this, you know, if you do it while you, you as background, just while you're doing other emails, I've done that and you end up getting nothing out of the webinar. So it'll be short and smart, but let's uh, make sure that we, we concentrate. And Nick has said regarding that photo, I suspect he has been involved in some sort of ceremony and the bowl would have been filled with flowers or petals in memory of a surfer. Very interesting. Um, yeah, that is another uh, fascinating possibility. Okay, let's dive into this. Grab a pen and paper, by the way, because I'm going to talk about a, a number of things and a number of examples that I think you're going to find really relevant. You might want to share with your team or certainly keep uh, notes on for, for the future. Uh, for those people who don't know me, my name is Simon Reynolds 
and uh, I'm one of the partners at the Fortune Institute. And you know, people know me, I guess, uh, from from the advertising world. I've been in advertising for the entirety of my life. I've owned many or uh, uh, well, several advertising agencies, and my last group of marketing communications companies numbered 54. Uh, uh, so I had 50 or co-owned 54 marketing services companies in 14 countries around the world. So uh, uh, you know, when we uh, uh, deliver a webinar, I think it's important that the credentials of the person delivering the webinar uh, are, are there. There's a lot of people who teach who haven't done much. And uh, at the Fortune Institute, we try and make sure that everybody who teaches has at least achieved business success themselves. All right, so let's have a look. For those people who don't know the perfect wave, and I, it's a niche market, so I'd say the majority of you do not know the perfect wave. It is, as the logo says, uh, all about surf travel. So it's really holidays for uh, surfers. And I'll talk a little bit more about that because his real market is not really serious surfers. Yeah, it's it's actually other people. So we'll we'll talk about that a, a, a bit later. So that's what he does. He does surf holidays. Now here's here are the stats straight from him. He's grown the company three hundred and ten percent in four years. He's grown the company three hundred and ten percent in four years. Now that's massive growth. But I like the four year bit because it shows that he's been able to sustain the growth. It's not like one year he had a big year and then he, he disappeared. He's had sustained, outstanding growth. Now the other thing about Jamie is, uh, and this will give you a true indication of the type of revenue increases that we must be talking about here, he's gone from two staff in just 2010 to 80 staff, so massive increase there. And he's gone from one office in Cronulla in 2010 to offices in New Zealand, in Japan, in France and in Britain. So uh, pretty, pretty impressive growth in, in every respect, financially and uh, structurally, in, in his company. So how did he do it? Well, uh, oh yeah, one last thing, which is uh, pretty important. He's done it all without taking on a whole lot of debt. You know, there's some people that get growth by just pumping a whole lot of money into the company or the investors or whatever. In fact, today, I, um, uh, I wanted to get my washing done uh, in um, uh, here in Los Angeles, and they have a delivery service for for getting your washing done called Washio, and that had something like twelve million dollars put into it, and so it showed growth. In fact, they became the number one dry cleaning firm uh, in 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 America within a, a couple of years, and then last month went out of business. So you know, it's really something to grow like he has debt free. Uh, uh, as, as Jamie Gray has. So a very good case study for us all to look at. And of course, what's good about it, it's not an American case study, it's, it's here in, in Australia where, it's, uh, where he's been able to achieve this. Okay, so let's get right down into it. And you know, we try and make our webinars full of meat and interesting stuff. So uh, after a long interview with Jamie, uh, these are what he believes out of all the stuff he did, these are the three things that made the biggest difference to how he how fast he grew the company. Okay, so number one is he said that he constantly sought the advice of successful business owners. He constantly sought the advice of successful business owners. And here's, here's what I find all the time, and I think it's a very strange thing, is that many entrepreneurs just want to do it alone. They, uh, you know, can be pretty lonely being an entrepreneur because it's not like you can talk to your staff about the fact that you may not be able to pay them next month, is it? You know, a lot of a lot of your problems uh, where we keep to ourselves because we we can't tell the staff and we can't even discuss it with our spouses. You know, it's uh, we don't want to disturb them about you know if we're having a bad month or. You know, they don't understand in many cases some aspects of the, a lot of aspects of the business, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we tend to do a lot of stuff alone. But this is an error because what's happening here is we could double or triple the speed of which we advance in our business if we took the, took the counsel of of other successful business owners. And by not doing it, it's it's incredibly stressful. You know, we're tripling the amount of stress that we put on ourselves by trying to do it all by ourselves. And it, of course, 
it's going to inevitably lead to slower growth. I mean, have you ever seen a business person who did it all by himself and then grew faster than everybody else? I, I'm sure it happens, but generally speaking, I think they got intel, they got information, they got tips, they got strategies, they got connections, they got advantages that other people uh, gave them. You know, there's a very interesting book by Richard Koch uh, called called SuperConnect, and it really shows how much we've achieved because of the help of others, uh, our, our connections, and how we utilize our connections. So if we don't connect up with successful entrepreneurs like Jamie did, then uh, it, uh, uh, it, it, makes a, uh, it makes a massive um, uh, difference to the speed it, at which we grow. Okay, so uh, he got, Jamie in particular, said he got these gems of information from uh, uh, entrepreneurs in two different places. The first was he literally went and asked people to introduce him or approach them uh, himself, wealthy entrepreneurs. So he reached out and he said, hey, do you mind if you have a coffee uh, with me? I'd, I'd like some advice. And some people said yes, who were, who were successful entrepreneurs. Or he asked his friends, hey, I know you hang around with you know, Joe from, you know, who owns Joe's uh, coffee chain, can can you sit me down with him? I'd like to, uh, as as someone just wrote, ha hack their brain. You know, I, I'd uh, um, I'd really like to to see, uh, you know, what you could tell me about my business. And a couple of people, Ross and Juanita, have said that um, uh, the sound dropped out just while I uh, was talking about the book title. The book title was called. Super Connect, Super Connect by Richard Koch that talked all about the power of, of connections. Uh, okay, so first of all, Jamie uh, went out and proactively sat down with wealthy entrepreneurs and asked for advice. And then the second source that he got a lot of his uh, business strategies from was, was from us. And he said quite openly that we, you know, we were a huge, huge help and a catalyst for him building his company so fast. But I just want to say, rather than just say it's a boast about us, I want to point, point out something else. What a lot of people say who do our programs is they get a lot of help, not just from us, but from the other entrepreneurs in the room. So what happened, uh, happens so often is you end up having lunch with these people, we have dinners with, the, with other entrepreneurs in the group, and you get to know uh, uh, some of them really, really well, and they advise you how to grow your business faster. And that's another way, even though it was inside the Fortune Institute, it was often the work of other entrepreneurs that really made the difference. And, uh, you know, these are very interesting things uh, because if you look at most people, they're not reaching out and trying to get help. So, as a result of this, he unlocked the wealth code. And I use those words. Uh, very deliberately, I, I believe, and, I, and, and the other coaches at the Fortune Institute believe as well, that there really is a code to, uh, a wealth code to, uh, that you, if you unlock it, you grow a really fast business. And it almost doesn't matter what type of business you have. I can tell you, nine out of ten of the elements of the code, and we've spent, you know, I've spent three decades working out what the code is. Uh, for most businesses, nine out of ten of them, the same for every business, the same for every business. And he, he utilizing, uh, first of all, this first strategy, he really unlocked the amount of wealth and the amount of growth he got out of his business. Okay, so I've got a question for you, and we've got a little chat box here on the on the webinar. So uh, it's a rare situation that you're in because you've got you've got other entrepreneurs and a lot of them from all around Australia listening as well. So what I like to do is take advantage of the fact we've got all these all this mind power, all this brain power and experience in business on, on the webinar. And a few times during the webinar I like to throw it out uh, a few questions. So just uh, type in your answers to this, uh, those, those who want to participate, and let's get a sense of what Australian entrepreneurs think. So here's my question. I want you just to type uh, an answer to this. Are you spending enough time speaking to other successful entrepreneurs about your business? 
Are you spending enough time speaking to other successful entrepreneurs about your business? Uh, Rachel says, no, Blythe, no, I'm not. I'm merely working on it. Uh, D says, definitely not. Probably not at the moment, says Jess. No, no, from Richard and Naveen. Tombu, not yet. No, and not at all, from David and Julia. Juanita, no. Uh, as uh, Mark, Sandy, uh, Pas not enough, says Pascal. Um, Erica says, no, I don't know how to connect. Warren, no. Grace, no, I've seen, uh, I've seen how other entrepreneurs have used LinkedIn to do it, for sure. Um, Christina says, uh, yes, interviewing them for a couple of books. That's a great idea. No, says Michael. Uh, uh, Bobby, it's his main focus. That's good. Uh, Dominic, no, no, not nearly enough. Lynn, absolutely not. Amanda, Jim, uh, no. Ross, no. And Judith st just started. Very interesting, folks. And thanks for your contribution uh, uh, for that. That is an overwhelming, I'd put it at 95% no's. From Australian entrepreneurs, remember you're smarter than most people. You know, you guys are learners. You're getting better. You're 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 on on the game, and yet you we're still. It's a very interesting point, isn't it? We're not really talking enough to other entrepreneurs looking for advice, and that's what Jamie Gray did. So what I say is, it's time for a change. If you think this is something that you should do, just make a mental note. Yeah, you know what. I'm going to get involved in, a, in an organization where I can meet other successful entrepreneurs or I'm going to go out and I'm going to introduce myself. I'm going to reach out to wealthy and successful entrepreneurs and use the collective mastermind of, of their brilliance and experience. Okay, so that was key one of how Jamie Gray grew 310% in just four years, moved from two staff to 80. Key two, he said he told us that he focused on optimization. Now I'm going to. This is a technical marketing term. Not. Uh, not. I'm not using it as a just pure English term here. Uh, a technical marketing term of optimization. And wh what do we mean by that? Well, let me explain it. Many business owners. We see this all the time when we're coaching entrepreneurs, and we coach entrepreneurs from all over the country in a million different a uh, industries and and many different size businesses. And what we find is that. A lot of business owners are addicted to looking for the big leap. So they're, they're, they're looking for some massive breakthrough that's suddenly going to transform their business and triple their business with one thing. And what was interesting talking to Jamie is he said that didn't occur to him. And what occurred is that tiny improvements were far more effective. And we believe this all the time. As one of the partners at Fortune says, you know, Nothing, nothing works by itself, but many things work together, and I think that that's very true. Now, these Japanese characters on the right uh, stand for the concept of kaizen or kaizen, and some people will know this, but kaizen is basically about continuous improvement. And so, many people might have read uh, the Lean Startup, and uh, that book is all about basically. Uh, Toyota's system of Kaizen, of continuous improvements. Uh, so it's, it's a really interesting, um, uh, uh, it's an interesting concept, this whole Kaizen, because everybody's addicted to big changes. How about lots of little changes? How about being really disciplined about improving every important part of your business 1%? Let me say that again. Try improving every part of your business 1%. You've got 20 parts of your business, you've improved your business 20%. So uh, what did Jamie concentrate on? So, And take note of this because this is important. This really helped him. He worked on the optimization of his online ads. Once again, so many people, they just run an online ad and then, you know, Facebook, Google, and they say, oh, it doesn't work. Or they run an online ad and they get an okay result, so they just keep on doing it. No, he optimized and optimized and changed different headlines, changed different colors, changed different pictures until he found, found that he had ads that worked much, much better for him. He also optimized website leads. So what do we mean by that? Well, if someone contacts you on, from the website, how have they done that? What is the, uh, what's the wording on the form? Or what questions have you asked? Or when they ring, as a result of the phone uh, phone number on your website, what occurs in that first three minutes? So he really looked at that whole process of when a lead comes in and how they treat it, both immediately and then later down on the line, a few weeks later. 
he also looked at the optimization of customer service. So a portion of that is on the phone and a portion of that is just when people interact live on surfing holidays with his staff. And so he really worked on little changes, but lots of them, to customer service. Could you do the same? Uh, on profit margins, he really looked at some, some holidays, for example, were quite popular, but they, were, they did, didn't give him a decent return. So he resisted the urge to just do holidays, so he had a wide range, or just do holiday, holidays to places where um, you know, he, he may have liked to have gone if the margins weren't there. And he really worked on that. And then he really, and this is critical for almost everybody we deal with, I, I can't tell you how many entrepreneurs we, uh, where we have you know, doubled their close rate, uh, how many people say yes to them uh, out of 10, uh, and just by w working and finessing and making small changes to their sales presentation makes some really extraordinary difference. And the result of that is, you, when, you, when you do all that, you get massive strength over time. You've got a business that can weather anything when you're optimizing all those things. It's like the Great Pyramids. You come back in another thousand years, you're going to be there. Why? Because the internal structure is so well done. Uh, very important point. So I've got a question for you. So you might want to just comment in, in the chat box uh, on, on this. So the question for everybody, all the entrepreneurs around Australia is, can you rank yourself out of 10 for optimization. So remember, no one knows you, they only know first name, so it's completely anonymous. Let's get an honest appraisal of entrepreneurs all around Australia. What do you like at optimization versus Jamie out of 10? Okay, let's just get a bit of a sense. Nick is six, Jim is two, D is four, Jess is four, Lynn five, Albert six, Mark five, Julia two, Pascal two, Amelia, Amelie, five, three for Bill, one for Dominic, seven for Warren, three from Kate. Now we've got, I won't read all the names out here, but uh, the other ones are uh, four, one, two, four out of 10. Uh, uh, Bobby's just starting. Three, minus three from Rachel, three, four, four, five, four, five. Isn't that interesting? What would you average that out at? I'd say it's an average of five. It's an average of five out of ten folks for optimization. And can I just point something out about optimization? Usually it doesn't cost much money. It doesn't cost you any more to try a second, uh, a different copy on, on one of the ads. It doesn't cost you any more to, to work on customer service. It doesn't cost you any more to, to you know, probably only a few hundred dollars to slightly dis make changes to your website so you get better results. Optimization, it's a really powerful concept. So make sure if you if you're if you've averaged somewhere near a five uh, when it can't add a ten for optimization that you say you know what I'm going to learn how to do this whether I have to go and speak to experts on how to optimize uh, I am going to do this I'm going to make sure that whatever we do we keep on improving improving one percent at a time just like Toyota and just like Jamie Gray from the Perfect Way okay so we're talking about how did he do it? How did he build such a fast growth Australian company? Let's look at key three for Jamie. And key three is he told us that he switched, and this is so important, he switched from selling travel to selling an experience. So here's, here's what happened, guys. Uh, he was being undercut, and maybe you are too, by competitors. And so he said, well, well you know, if I want to maintain my margins, how can I possibly compete? And then he said, you know what? I'm going to start improving the experience in two ways. First of all, how I sell my holiday. I'm not just going to say it's 10 days in Bali or you know, at a beach resort in Bali for a surfing holiday as an example. I'm going to say it's this and this and this, there's these waves, there's these beaches, there's these um, uh, things that occur and sell the like, entire and unique experience of that particular destination with his company. And so number one, he worked on how he sold it and selling an experience, not a product. And second of all, he adjusted the experience. 
and we can all do that in our business. He said, okay, what's the experience of someone on my, uh, one of these holidays? How can I add to it? Can I put a, you know, a special last night barbecue on? Can I uh, have you know, someone do a, a, you know, a, a native, make them breakfast one day? Can I um, introduce them to the number one surfer in that, in that, uh, on that island and he could give surfing advice or something like that? He really worked on creating little beautiful experiences. And you know, this is a very big subject. It's actually a, an entire um, module that I, uh, I teach at the Fortune Institute in, uh, at our conferences, of which we've got one just coming up. And it's all about how to turn what you sell into an extraordinary experience, either in how you structure your product or service, or how you actually deliver it. Um, and they're two distinct differences and very important. So here's the reality. Most of us sell the same product many others sell, or almost the same product. These, these drinks have slightly different flavor, but what's the difference between one lemonade and another lemonade, you know what I mean? And that's the case for many of us, unfortunately. And that means that we're often fighting the same battle as everybody else, and it's extremely competitive. And inevitably, in these scenarios, if we're just selling the product, not the experience, it means that we uh, often end up pricing, uh, uh, lowering the prices, and uh, so that's a, um, uh, you know, it's a disaster to to just be uh, playing on the same field uh, as all your competition. But people pay a lot for experiences all the time. You know, it's amazing how how much people will pay just to have a little nice experience. So let's, let me give you a few examples. Look at Ritz Carlton, you know, a, a five-star hotel chain. They have a, a system called the Ritz Carlton Way. And at every moment during your experience with Ritz Carlton, they've worked on special things that, that you might uh, receive or that the staff might do in order for you to go, wow, that's an extraordinary hotel. They've architected the experience. And that's, you know, that's just write that down because it's really important. Have you, have you actually designed, have you architected the experience? Or look at Starbucks, you know, and don't look at it in Australia because Gloria Jeans did a brilliant job um, uh, taking, uh, getting before Starbucks started. They, in Australia, they ripped them off and, and, um, and, and set up before they arrived. But have a look in, in most countries of the world and, and, you know, where I am at the moment in, in America, you know, here is coffee used to be was often free in diners with your, with your breakfast, you know, and you could fill up as much as you like. Nowadays, you know, they're charging $5 or, or so for a, for a coffee and a lot of it is, oh, I get to sit down on these nice couches or I can, I can use my computer and work here or, or, you know, we've got these customer loyalty systems or, you know, they've got this, this beautiful cake that they have for the day, etc. It's the experience, even though it's you know most people are only spending five or six dollars in there. Or have a look at Nordstrom, an amazing department store in America, which is literally famous nationally for it, its incredible service. You know, have a think about it. You know, these are three totally different types of companies, um, and they all have amazing experiences. What could you do? Well, you know, uh, what you're going to ask yourself is. Oh, when designing an experience is what can separate me from all the other people that are largely offering the same thing, at least as perceived by the consumer. So this allows you to, to separate yourself from, from the opposition and it also critically, as we've seen with Starbucks, as we've seen with Ritz-Carlton, as we've seen with Nordstrom, allows you to lift your prices. So here's a question for you folks, just, just type in uh, your thoughts. Let's get uh, some feedback from the room. Is there an opportunity for you to create a much richer customer experience in what you do? Just type in, is there, is there an opportunity for you to create a much richer customer experience for what you do? Uh, Ross said, powerful message really got me thinking how to apply this in particular to staff training, team development and mentoring. Yeah, good point. Okay, so let's see what the, uh, the entrepreneurs around Australia Say, Sandy, yes, definitely, Bobby, yes, Warren, yeah, definitely, Mark, Blight, yes, yes, for Jess, D says, uh, we used to do it and then we stopped, yeah. 
uh, yes from Lynn, yes I'm working on it, says David. Um, uh, Olivia has some challenges with that, yes for Julia. Uh, yes, uh, Sharon, I hope so, Jim. Sure, and yes from Nick and Amanda. They're all, they're all yeses here, or definitely is, or, or starting to think about it. Um, and uh, in almost all cases here. So we've got, I'd say, above 95%, everybody thinks. Now remember, we've got a lot of different businesses here, a lot of different business owners, different size businesses, and almost everybody says that they, there's a great opportunity to improve their customer experience. Powerful stuff. So here's a tip, just make a list of possible experiences straight after this webinar, okay? So straight after this webinar, just give yourself five minutes and come up with as many possible experiences as you could and that could really help you. Okay, it's really important, this stuff is fascinating because it's literally what Jamie said was the reason, it's the primary reasons why his company has grown so fast and he's making so much money. So what are they? They're to constantly learn from successful business people and from courses. He's always doing courses, not just Fortune Institute, he's traveling across the world to do business courses and develop, development courses. Um, and he's always introducing himself or reaching out to successful business people. Get yourself a mentor. Second of all, he's optimizing everything, tiny, tiny changes, measuring and measuring what those differences are. So that's two different things. One is optimizing, the second is knowing how much it worked. And you need to do both. And that's what Jamie did. And third, he switched from product to an experience. What a great opportunity from product to experience, you can do the same as well. Okay, so here's the question. If you did all three of those things, if you had the mentors, if you were really good at optimizing, and if you switched from travel to experience, don't you think you'd become rich if you did this? I think so. You know, I think almost all of us would have to say if we did all three, this would make an amazing difference financially to our business. So the obvious question is how? How do you do this? And you know, there's many, many different ways, but I, I categorize them into two different ways. And the first one is the slow way, and the second is the fast way. Now the slow way is doing it all yourself. And you know, we've all been uh, suffered from uh, the slow way, uh, trial and error. You know, we've got to do it, but the truth is, I mean, aren't you sick of wasting money on another thing that didn't work or you know losing six months or a year working on something that didn't work and what's really behind that it's us trying to do it all ourselves as we talk about at the front it's us not being like Jamie and saying uh, uh, you know I'm gonna find who's good and I'm gonna learn from them and that makes you know it makes all the difference and what is this it's from changing from trial and error to a system See, Jamie went away, er, around and he said, what's the system? How are you growing your business? How are you doing accounting? How are you doing marketing? How can you, is there anything you're doing in your system that I could apply to help create my system? And I, I am a huge believer in just finding the best people and then learning their systems. And I can tell you, not only will it usually be better than, the, than whatever you came up with, because after all, you're going to people who are really good, really successful. Uh, secondly, you know, you could save 20 years. It might, it could take you longer than 20 years to learn how to do something brilliantly, rather than just getting someone to tell you who's, who's done it and is at the top of their field. Madness. And most, most entrepreneurs are doing on, uh, purely just doing it by themselves, trial and error. And whatever you do, whatever system you choose, for goodness sake, jump on the fast track and learn a system. And you know, one solution that I'd like to uh, recommend is our High Achiever program. And it really is the, it's the bee's knees, it's the ant's pants, it's the cat's pajamas of, uh, of uh, entrepreneur courses. And the reason is that it's been refined. <clears throat> over seven years by, by a, a, a top group of entrepreneurs who've all been successful in their own businesses and it's been refined over seven years by hundreds of entrepreneurs giving us advice on, on how to make it even better and that's why I, I, I have not seen a better course 
in the world than a high achiever program. And what I thought would be really interesting for you is for me to throw it over to Mark Holterman, one of the partners at uh, the Fortune Institute, to just give you a few details about what happens in the high achiever program and why it's so successful. Mark, are you there? Hey, thanks, Simon. Appreciate it. Um, hello, everyone. Just want to make sure you hear me. So just type a little Y into, um, you know, or hello into the chat box. Yep, fantastic. Hi, Julia. Hi, Jess. So look, what an awesome case study webinar. Um, showing everyone online just with a little bit of effort, obviously some planning and execution, we can all smoothly grow our business just like Jamie's done. And you know, but first, I just like to let you all in on a fantastic opportunity at Fortune right now. Now, Simon touched on our business program uh, called High Achiever, and look, Jamie worked with us for many years, uh, and he's really a testament to to the program's success. And look, over the last six years, we've worked with over 500 businesses as well, helping them grow and scale. And right now, we're letting qualified candidates experience our program for next to nothing. Well, look, in fact, it's just a dollar. Um, so stay online, as this next few minutes are really important. But before I go on, let me just tell you who it's, it's just really not for everyone. So let's just go through right now who it is for first. And then, and then I'll let you know how to get involved before um, the opportunity is gone. So look, High Achievers for you. If you know, you're looking to grow your profits faster. If you've hit a growth ceiling, a lot of our clientele have taken the business to a certain level and they've just, they just kind of can't make it, to, you know, get past that ceiling. So we, um, we definitely help there. If you're time poor, wearing too many hats, putting out too many fires, look, I know probably a lot of people online are feeling this. Um, it's, it's very, very common. This old adage, working in the business, not in it. Um, I think, once again, I probably think almost 100% of people um, online uh, you know, are feeling this. And I think being able to plan and work on your business and how you're going to grow it is integral um, to, to everyone's journey. Also, look, if you want to grow and scale smoothly and also quickly, we've got amazing systems for that. And also, look, if you need a strategic plan um, and also expert experience to get there faster, you know, we're the best show in town. And look, most of the people I speak to, they don't have a plan. They don't have a nimble uh, plan that they're using daily, and we think it's a you know foundational element that you all need. Look, most of the the the, the owners we work with, you know, are over 35 years old. They've been in business a decade. You know, everyone we work with is savvy, but they just need more ammo. They need more help, and that's where Simon and the High Achiever team come in. So let's just look quickly at who can apply. So for this webinar offer, we really are only looking to work with nine business owners, okay? And we only have limited space as there's a small workshop involved in this deal. So let's just look at the criteria first, then I'll explain our program and also the, the, the special offer. These are the types of people we're looking to work with. You need to be a business owner. And if you've got any partners, they have to be involved. Everyone has to be on the same page. We also need your turnover to be at least $300,000 in sales. Um, also, as I mentioned before, there is a, a, a two-day workshop involved. So you need to be able to attend either the workshop on September 22nd, 23rd, or October 27th, 28th in Sydney. Um, can you just check your calendars now, guys, just to see if you're available? Um, I'm going to come back to this criteria, but I just want, to, want you to keep it in mind as I take you through the program quickly. So what does High Achiever do for you? Um, and I think it really comes down to uh, a handful of, of really strong points. The first is Simon and, and the team work with you every week and guide you through any issue you're facing in your business. Um, we work on sales, marketing, productivity, staffing, finance, you know, business direction, anything any hurdle that's stopping you from growing, we've got experts in the team to help and also to advise you consistently. Um, also, look, our team is going to help you build a custom 12-month strategic plan plus a 90-day action plan for your business. Um, those plans are foundational to growth. And, and, and beyond just the plan, a lot of people do have plans, but the one thing they don't have is accountability. As a business owner, no one's holding you accountable. That's our job. So we're going to hold you accountable week in, week out, and that's why we see this amazing growth with our with our um, clients. Also, you know, on top of uh, the the first three, we're going to provide you cutting edge business education. We do we do run some quarterly retreats with Simon, 
And that's about bringing you the latest strategy and tactics that work now. Plus, obviously, look, it's an outstanding networking opportunity with the other high achievers. And we've had people that have you know, done joint ventures and become business partners and so forth. So it's a, it's a really good um, additional component to, to the program. So what do you need to do now? Um, I think the first thing I want everyone to do is apply. Okay, If those criteria fit you, uh, we've got nine spots, and they're going to be gone in the next 24 hours. I'll explain how you apply in a second. Obviously, you've got to be able to attend that workshop um, if you're going to apply. The other thing as well is I really want people to be prepared to work hard at that workshop. It's not a presentation. There is no pitch. It's literally a workshop where you're going to walk away with a powerful 12-month roadmap for your business and also a 90-day action plan in your hands. Um, and the other thing I want everyone to be open-minded about is you know, to get the most out of that workshop, you want to be willing to work with Simon and also my coaching team to implement you know, that plan uh, so we can really ramp that business growth up faster. So in essence, it's about applying, attending, preparing and planning, and also implementing and growing. Now, let me just tell you who it's not for, because um, we're pretty specific about who we want to work with. It's not for startups and new businesses. It's also not for people who, who are not serious about results. Um, we also want people that are open-minded to new ideas. And then lastly, and this is probably the most important, is we want people that take action. So if there's any scarcity in your mindset about taking action, we, we need action takers. That's how we see amazing growth. Now, look, I love this, uh, this photo. It's, I wonder what they, they did to make this kid give them that look. But let's go through what the investment is. Um, so I'm going to show you how we can basically do this for, for a lot cheaper. What we do is high achievers normally uh, a 24-month program. Most people stick with us for about two years. We get really massive change over those two years. The investment is $22,097 plus GST per month, which is really crazy value for money uh, because you know, you'll know you be working with a team that has built $500 million businesses. Uh, it's not available in Australia. It's one of the best coaching programs in the world. But look, I'm going to show you a way now to trial us for next to nothing. Um, just to, let me just frame your expectations. Look, High Achiever has helped well over 500 businesses over the last six years. Um, you're going to be working with the best entrepreneurs in Australia. The team has over 85 years experience in owning and growing businesses. Um, and also, look, it's a tried and tested formula. And it's really based on three facets. One is systems improvement. The second is ramping up productivity. And the third is refining your marketing. And look, it's risk-free to start. We want you to be able to, to see if it fits. So let me just explain quickly how you do that. You can start High Achiever and trial us for just a dollar. Um, literally, obviously, as I just mentioned, it's $22.97 per month normally, but you can trial us for the dollar. Now, for the dollar, we're going to give you three aspects. We're not going to give you the whole thing, but we're going to give you the ability to really have a good look at it and see if it's going to fit for your business. Those aspects are, we've got an amazing members area, full of content and strategy and tactics. Um, we're also going to put you through our two-day, uh, sorry, our business analysis survey. Um, that's going to list some gaps in your business, going to start to give you some clarity, make you think. And then we're also going to spend two days with you in a workshop. Um, it's a small workshop, 25 businesses uh, only. There's five of us from Fortune. And look, the beauty of this offer is that you can meet us. You can work with us. You can also understand exactly how we're going to help. And look, you're also going to have a detailed roadmap for the next year. And look, at the end of the two-day workshop, you can either continue in High Achiever or you can go it alone. There's no obligation. It's a brilliant way, way to see if it fits for you. Plus, if it doesn't work, you can walk away and you've got a killer 12-month strategic plan for your business. So it's a win-win. Now, just once again, our criteria, just to go through that quickly, you've got to be the owner. If you've got any partners, they need to be involved. Turnover needs to be over 300,000 in sales. And also, you've got to be able to attend those workshops. The workshops are on Thursdays and Fridays, and we do it in Sydney, right next to the airport. Uh, and as I said, it's 25 businesses and five of us from Fortune. So the next steps, the first thing is email me. Um, at mark at thefortuneinstitute.com if, uh, if you qualify. Um, also include your mobile number, 
your business name and a website URL and I'll check those out and then what we'll do is we'll just spend 15 minutes on a quick call just to see if it's the right fit for you as well as for us um, and we'll do that next uh, probably 24 hours either today or tomorrow um, the workshop is small we've only got four spots for September and the rest are in October so definitely get in now um, if you guys have any questions at all, you can you can email me. If you need the slides from this uh, this uh, presentation as well, definitely uh, flick me an email. But if you do qualify and you want to take advantage of that dollar offer, um, you know, definitely send me an email right away. I really appreciate your time this morning, and thanks again for joining us. Uh, we're really looking forward to working with some of you in the future at one of our workshops. And look, on behalf of Simon and the team at Fortune, I just want to say take care. Have a great day, uh, and also we'll see you soon. Thanks for joining us, guys.